Catherine. I'm very honored. Two days ago, I actually spoke to me. <laughs> Get the hell out of my way! <laughs> We're very close, me and Catherine. We are. He must be calling by his first name, Sir. <laughs> anyway, the other day, to show you, I was up on deck eight. Food deck B, you know what that is? Deck eight. Food deck B. And I happened over here. Well, I didn't over here. This is what makes it a soap opera. I was eavesdropping. I happened to eavesdrop on the captain, the staff captain, and the first room. And this is going to shock your girls. They were talking about making love. Sickening. Well, the one's Italian, so you expect it, but not those other guys. <laughs> they were trying to figure out which part of making love was work and which part was pleasure. Because I remember the staff captain. He thought it was about 60% pleasure and 40% work. And the Persian, the Italian guy, he thought it was about 70% pleasure and 30% work. You met the captain, didn't you? Lovely man, very fair, right down the middle. 50% pleasure, 50% work. Well, they couldn't decide. Now, they're walking down the deck. There's a kid, you guys have gone here about a week. They ran into this kid. You know this kid because you've been here so long. He's a kid that fills the pool and paints the ship and waxes the floors, and irons the sheets, and scrambles the eggs, and drives the tender, fixes the light, tunes the piano, makes those little chocolate, puts the coal in the furnace. You know the kid I'm talking about? You know, he works 95 hours a day. They said, well, ask him. He's young. His mind's not cluttered with facts. So he asked this kid which part of making love he thought was work, and which part he thought was pleasure. He says, Captain, I believe it must be 100% pleasure. Captain says, well, son, how do you figure that? He says, well, sir, I figured it was any work involved, you guys have had me doing it. <laughs> have fun and great, folks. You've been a great time. Bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been enjoying Mr. Tom Fletcher. Mr. Holiday, once again, Tom Fletcher.